Welcome to Next Level Soccer's video series on improving your first touch. Knowing the details is essential for all coaches and players to reach their next level. Players must be able to receive the ball out of the air as well as on the ground. Because aerial passes are less frequent, they are not often trained, leaving players less comfortable receiving aerial balls. Like with passes on the ground, though, players are still most likely to receive a flighted or bouncing ball with their feet, which is what this video will focus on. When the ball is flighted high and coming more or less straight down, the receiver will want to use the top of their foot down by where the laces of the shoe start. It is easier to have a soft touch as opposed to higher up the foot which is more dense. As the ball comes down, the receiver will bring their knee up slightly to pick their foot up a few inches off the ground. The player's toes will be pointed up and right as the ball hits the receiver's foot, the receiver will cushion the ball down by lowering her knee. It is as if the receiver is trying to catch the ball on her foot and place it on the ground. The ball should be just in front of the receiver for a quick pass or dribble. When the ball is coming more as a line drive or skipping up at the receiver, they will need to use the inside of the foot just like they would receive a pass on the ground. The only difference is the receiver will have to raise their foot to the middle of the ball in the air. On contact, the receiver needs to cushion the ball by bringing her foot back down to the ground, leaving the ball just in front, so she can make a quick pass or dribble. There may not be a more important skill for a player than the ability to take a quality first touch. It is the foundation for everything else they will do on the ball. Thank you for watching, and whether coaching or playing, always remember the details.